Cavs hosting the Wizards, and the Cavs are 10.5 point favorites. The over-under is at 240. The Wizards are plus 410 on the money line, and the Cavs are minus 550. Now, these lines are going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. They're the overnight odds, and the over-under has already fallen a half a point. Now, thank you for everyone who has joined my Discord and who continues to join it. If you've not done so yet, you can do so by visiting my website or clicking on the membership link in any one of my social media profiles. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets, my stats, the games that I bet on. And if you have any questions about player props, money lines, over-unders, etc., it'll be in the Discord. I don't answer that stuff in the social media comments. Uh, it's supposed to be Jones, Poole, Avia, Kuzma, and Gafford, Mitchell, Struess, Okoro, Wade, and Allen. Lineups have not been confirmed. That's just who's supposed to be on the court, and the NBA really pisses me off about that all the time. The Wizards, to me, are like the Wizards and the Hornets are these two teams that they're Jekyll and Hyde, and I don't know what the hell I'm going to get with them. Now, head-to-head, -head, the Cavs are on a five-game winning streak. They are 6-4 and four against the Wizards in their last 10. The home team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The favorite has won and covered the last four games that they've played against each other. The favorite is 7-3 and three against the spread. The favorite is 9-1 and one on the money line, and the favorite has won the last six games on the money line. The under is 7-3 and three in their last 10, and the under 240 or 240.5 is 9-1. and one. They played each other once this year on uh, January 3rd, and the Cavs won that game 140 to 111. And I swear the Wizards are like one of these teams where someone hits a bucket at the end of the game to screw you from them covering, or from start to finish, they just get blown out and they lose by 40 points. It doesn't seem like there's an in-between with them. There was a total of... 234, 214, 256, and then 241. They are 3-7 and seven in their last 10, 6-3-1 and one against the spread, and the under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. They lost by 30 to the Raptors, then they beat the Nets by 6, then they lost by 4 to the Hawks. That's one of those games that I'm talking about. They, The Hawks don't score in the last minute and a half, and all the, the Wizards do is score. And then the next night they battle back, or a few nights later, and they lose by 39 points after being rested against the Cavs. And then for the Cavs, they're 6-4 in their last 10, 6-4 against the spread, and the over is 6-4. They're 2-2 two two in their last four, 223, 230, 245, and then 241. They beat the Mavericks by 3, lost to the Bucks by 8, lost to the Raptors by 3, and then crushed this Wizards team by 39 points. I'm going to take the Cavs with the money line. I'm going to take the Cavs laying the points, and I am going to go under in this one. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.